Sydney Central guinea pig rescue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, poor little What fella. is his name? What's his name? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. You're a very cute nutmeg. Okay. Sweet nutmeg. Piggy. I'm just going to do a general feel all over nutmeg first. So nutmeg has had an abscess which has been treated at the vet. How long ago was it? Two weeks? A week? Yeah, probably two weeks now. Two That's weeks okay. ago? Okay, yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. Because <laughs> this loose skin is sort of indicative of losing weight. He's put some back on though. He really he's started has. putting it back yeah, on? Yeah, That's absolutely. great. That's really good, yeah. Since draining, he's probably started re-eating. He doesn't feel too bad around here. So that's good. And he's got something going on. He's ah, got okay. Time. This bit down here? Yeah. yeah. Tackle. No, that's actually okay. That's his boy bits. <laughs> his boy bits are fine. Oh, really? Yeah, this is all his boy bits. Okay, they just look massive. Yeah, no, perfectly normal. You have nothing to worry about with that. That is just normal. Not yeah, you not do not need to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> yep, yeah. so his boy bits are fine. This his face is gross. Yeah, it's just. Poor little fellow. Check. So he's had it. The abscess was under the jaw. I'm just checking down here. We have nothing. Yeah, there's nothing going on there, which is great. Just this way. I just want to upend Daddy him. Daddy just surprised me still not. And I'm going to turn him around so he's well endowed. Nutmeg. <laughs> so if you can make sure What's you can name? see him in the camera. It's him. I just want to turn him around this way so I can see what's going on. Yes, let's have a little bit shaved and. Oh, okay, out here. Okay, yep. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, they've done a good job with it. So they've drained it a second time. Yes. Yes. But they didn't tell me to do anything else to it, so that's yep. why I've sort of been now trying to just soak it with salt water and, and yep. give it a bit of a rub. And okay. Yeah. Mm, but there's gunk coming out. Can you out. see it on yeah. there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So this is where it was. How big did it get? Oh, he looked like a chipmunk. It was a, yeah. You know the video that you did in lockdown? He looked yes. about the same size as that. Okay. It was like almost identical to what Like he... bun. Yeah, we've had a few of them at Cinnamon and Bun. The videos for those were Yeah, that's really what it was. Big. Cinnamon and Bun. Yeah. Okay. I'm just agitating that to see what's oh, clear in from it. To see what I can feel with your jawline, little guy. He's very strong through there, which is great. And the vet pulled out some food between the teeth. Yes, so the first Fantastic. vet we went to um, was just like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll drain the abscess, but you need to see this other guy. So yep. then we went to the other guy. Well, I wasn't, I was at work, but my husband, Josie, went. And then, they, yeah, they pulled a whole bunch of food out, bits of hay and bits of green and stuff. Okay. Yep. And said, oh, his teeth need surgery. Yep. It's going to keep happening if you don't do something about the dental surgery. Okay. And that was my concern was that... His teeth. He's right. gonna. If they said, you know, it's gonna keep happening if you don't do the surgery and mm. it's cruel and blah blah blah. Uh, they are longer at the bottom. Yeah. Can we go and pick a little bit of grass for me? Yeah. Pick a strand of grass. I want to see what he can do with that. That's not too bad at all. Okay. Now, see that tug of war that I'm doing with him, which is fantastic. That means, and he chomps it straight away. That means his teeth are great. Yeah, that's what I kept so, thinking because he's chewing on both yeah, sides too because I was watching him thinking he's not yeah, avoiding no, it. No, he's taking that straight in. He's absolutely going great. So you need to give him loads of hay and loads of fresh, fresh grass all the time. Yeah, no, he's on fresh so, grass all day and he has excellent. hay all night. Excellent. So and this is just out of our veggie gardens. Okay. Let's see if we can eat <coughs> this for me. Can have a go at that? Let's see. Show me what we can do. To finish what's in the middle. <laughs> Well, one of the things you can measure, because you've got other guinea pigs, but is to measure how quickly he consumes his food compared to his buddies. Yeah, look, I'd say he's yeah. definitely slower, especially okay. because, you know, all the girls are in together, all the boys are in together, so it's just like this free-for-all every time yeah. there's food thrown in. So what it might, what might be worthwhile doing is giving him some separate feeding time oh he's been separated all together has he yeah okay. we have not had him in with oh, anyone okay, he's right. been in here through the day and then a hut on his own outside excellent. through the night oh, then, sorry, through the night and through the day excellent then he can concentrate on on <clears throat> now he's able to eat that which is great he's able to get all the food and he's able to to grind that down one of the things with guinea pigs when they have teeth issues or they've had an abscess and they're in recovery 
is that if you put food flat in front of them, they can go and grasp the first few bits and then they walk over it and it gets flatter on the ground. And because their teeth are just a little bit not where they need to be, they can't get it off the ground. Mm. So I want you to clip it from the side of his cage. Oh, okay. So with a bulldog clip, get some grass and you're going to hang it in. Okay. So a big chunk of it hanging down, he'll be easily able to get his head and maneuver it at all times to get the grass that he wants. And that will help him continue to grind them down into shape. So in terms of his eating, he's doing really well. So he needs lots of that and lots of strands are the best. So when we have flat pieces like this, it's a bit more challenging and that's where hay and grass, just loads of grass, yep, okay. grass, 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 grass more, grass, more grass, yeah. will really help him grind that down. So that's great. Okay, well all we need to do is actually really flush that abscess with the correct thing. Yeah, because he just didn't look like a guinea pig that was on death's door and that we should no, be he's not. down. No, he's not. No, no. That's what my husband said. He goes, he looks like he's got too much life in him. And he he's jumps fantastic. around. He no, he's his eyes around. are bright. Look yeah. at that. He has no discharge. He's looking around. He's alert. He's able to eat. He's definitely not at death's door. He's got critical care on his nose. <laughs> That's okay. So are you feeding him the critical care or putting it in a bowl for him? Bit of both. We were sort of syringing it in and then okay. we just put it in a bowl when he doesn't eat at all, but he's had a good go at that. Excellent. So bit of, bit of both. Get syringed in. Because so, he has the antibiotic, yep. which he doesn't like. He didn't okay. mind it when he was sick. Now he doesn't really like the antibiotic, <laughs> so then he gets some critical care afterwards. And... Well, when you get back, I'll get you to find the name of the antibiotic. Yes. And then send that to me and I can check if that's like the right dose okay. and what to be giving him. Um, in, in all likelihood, um, the problem that caused this was the chunk of food that was removed from between the teeth. That's what I thought. Yeah, too. it's a bit like us with popcorn. They can't get it out. Yeah. They can't use things to remove it. It, it came up quickly because so, this yes. one was saying, yeah. oh, I think nutmeg's sick. Nutmeg, so she's like my guinea pig whisperer. I think he's sick. He's mm. looking a bit thin. And I was like, oh, he's okay. fine. He's fine. Yeah. And then after about a week of you telling me he was looking thin, I saw yeah. his face and went, oh, oh my yeah, goodness. All right, yes. we'll get you to a vet mm. now. No problem. Yeah, mm. they can come up super, super quick. And it's actually related to, I think, the body's ability to expel a foreign object. Yeah. So when you think about getting something like a small splinter in your finger that you can't remove, yes. after a while your finger gets really sore and it develops like a little pussy bubble around it yep. because it wants to expel that out of the body. So the pressure builds up, builds up, and it gets really sore. So sore you want to break it. Mm. It's exactly the same with big abscesses. They want to break it. So he's had something stuck in there, in his mouth, and that's the body's way of sort of removing that outside of that sort of infection they do have instances where a tooth may die or they'll have you know a tooth problem but yeah. um that is less rare yeah or more rare i should say because yeah, the way the carry-on yeah. was basically like he needs all this dental work yeah. and even though he probably won't survive the dental work he's probably going to die anyway and it was really very doom and gloom no and if it came to the dental work, I'd recommend a vet that we have down here in Sydney mm -hmm. who does that without an anaesthetic. So a full anaesthetic yeah, um, process is normally what they do. Mm -hmm. But in, in doing that, it disrupts the way that the jaw is held by the muscles. They're overstretched. There's, like, there's lots of other impactful things. But if it can be done without a full sedation, as a little trim, it's enough to keep them going. Yep. So, and look, he's really doing very, very well. I'm so, so happy to hear that. Very you. happy with that. I think that once we get this abscess area under control, now he does not have a temperature. He was a bit shimmery and horrible after I gave him the bath this afternoon. And he yeah. was quite unhappy with me, and I wasn't sure <laughs> okay. if I'm going to actually put him, him in a that. shop or something. Yeah, yeah, I was no, a bit worried. No, so there was a towel trying to keep him no. warm and be nice to him. No, he doesn't have a body temperature, like a, a hot. Yeah, it's a hot. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not got a fever or anything like that, which is great, but it means that everything's localized to the area mm. that has got the problem. So we're going to flush and treat that with two things. The first is what we call a substance. Um, first, I'm going to clear it, make sure that it's actually clear. Mm -hmm. And the second is flush it with something called Debrazol, which is an Australian product. And it's what it does is remove necrotic tissue. Oh, yeah, so it's okay. absolutely brilliant on these abscesses. Yeah. Brilliant. And it's what we should be using. 
what we want everyone to use. We've been doing it for years and years. Well, I, was say, well, I only watched your yep. video on Saturday, and on Saturday okay. it was like still quite a bit. Even though he looks so much better, like it looks so it much still more. Have a whole bunch just oh, it was like making squirty noises, and I went ooh, okay, that's not good. And then yes. yesterday, yep. yeah, I learned that you don't do it like that because it goes. <laughs> And I went, <laughs> oh, and that no. was, yeah, okay. um, and that was, but it was like more like brown. And then today, it, uh, it, it was, changes more yellow. It was yellowy. fine. It was yellow yes, again yeah. after the bath. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's that's quite normal. What happens is the the change, the initial abscess tends to be much harder, more. <laughs> it was like too viscous. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The second time round, it tends to be much more runny. Yeah. So that's that's absolutely on par with what I would expect to see in treatment. So okay. that's great. He's, he's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, and that's the thing. He isn't happy and he's running around. And, no, yeah. He's good. You've just got to make sure you can weigh him. Okay. So you need to I've get... little kitchen scales. Yeah, you must weigh him so that you know exactly where he's at. Then we can tell if he's dropping or not. Okay. Um, and that's the first indicator. But he looks bright and happy and, you know, we just need to clear and clean that up. Treat it with it. the right things. We're going to use after the Deb result. We're going to use then an antibiotic spray on it, oh, which okay. is um, fantastic. 